Welcome to another week in my life vlog. This is a good, busy, and productive week in my life, and I'm actually leaving the house, which is huge. Oh, I also put my Christmas decor up a little bit early. Sue me. I'm hosting book club this week. We're shooting a secret little Christmas collab for a friend of mine. We're hosting an event for a friend of mine. I'm working on a lot of upcoming drops. We have an entire recording day for House Guest Podcast. I'm working on the house, on the backyard. Of course, I baked four loaves of sourdough, obviously. And it was just a really good week. And obviously, I got to work for Macy and her Instagram stories. It's a really good week, and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. my YouTube channel. I'm really excited because this week in my life vlog is going to be very good, very productive. It's noon on Monday. I've had a day so far and I have showered because I have a photo shoot tonight. I have this little hair towel from Crown Affair. Guys, it's actually genius. You just tuck it back in through here. It's the best thing ever. I mean, I am in love with Crown Affair. I just made coffee. I just took some sourdough loaves out of the oven. I've worked out. I have some calls. We've just been working all day. Also, you guys have seen that we are launching my favorite product ever, the family cards, which are, I don't even want to talk about this without crying. So they're in memory of my little brother. <sighs> out of anything I've ever done work-wise, this is what I'm the most proud of. I'll show you guys a little bit of them. Here are the family cards. They're 75 cards. They are a big deck of cards. Um, and they are multi-generational, so there are cards for your grandparents, there's cards, sorry, this is really unorganized because I unorganized it. There's cards for your grandparents, your parents, and then for your siblings. They're so fun, they're just designed to bring your family together and just create memories, and I'm so proud of them. So these are launching on November 1st, they are going to be our biggest launch yet. I ordered more units than I've ever ordered for anything in my life because I just really believe in them. And I really hope that they bring your family together. My little brother growing up, he asked us so many questions all the time. And as kids, like we all thought it was so annoying. But now I'm just so grateful that he asked so many questions because we had so many conversations. And now I couldn't be more grateful for those times. Okay, I don't wanna cry because we've gotta get going today. Those are launching on November 1st and I am so excited about them it's been very emotional and hard to like even get through a lot of like marketing and stuff around it i've been doing a ton of that obviously the past couple of months it's so hard like owning a brand and then filming your life on youtube because so much of what i do and then having a podcast like it's hard to film things because a lot of what i'm doing isn't going to be dropped until much later with the brand and then for the podcast it's like okay but those episodes are coming out later like it's just all things that i can't really show in the moment you know what i mean so i'm kind of struggling with that currently i have a new hill house robe on love that i just made myself some coffee yes in a christmas mug and yes that is my christmas trait by the way if y'all are new here be sure to subscribe i just texted macy and i said hey macy your order is ready, is available for pickup, whatever you are. Okay, so here's the thing. I have a photo shoot tonight that is Christmas themed. It's for a collaboration that a friend of mine is doing with another brand. So I needed my house to be Christmas. Like, here's a little hint. So cute, right? Okay, I'm a November 1st girl anyways. Like, I'm not trying to lie to y'all. The tree was probably going up early this year either way. Because, like, I deserve it. Here it is. I'm currently still redoing the living room, had to move these chairs, probably gonna sell these. I know, it's been a whole thing. I have a new rug coming, and I do have chairs picked out that I want for there and there, and I just need a new coffee table, but haven't gotten to that yet. Anyways, my tree is the same that I had last year. By the way, anthropology, which is majority of this tree, well, it's the topper, a lot of the ornaments, and all of the velvet ribbon. The actual tree is at home on my shop. My, I have an entire category of everything linked. But Anthropology told me that they're giving me a discount code. So if y'all are interested in any of this, you guys, we have a discount code for Anthropology, which is literally a dream come true. Like, who would have thought? So we have that. Yesterday, I actually built a new bar stool. The other one just arrived, and then I need one more. Just matches the vibe of this home a lot better, so that's exciting. And then I actually decorated this. You guys can go this way. 
for my photo shoot tonight, which is a fake holiday dinner party. This stuff, I don't even know if it's online because I was trying to look. I don't know where my placemats went. I have the matching placemats, but I just use these chargers instead. It's at home. Like, this is so cute. I'm actually hosting book club tomorrow, and I'm like, am I going to keep this out? I think I am. Like, I mean, I think I am. Like, what else is a girl to do, you know? All right, y'all. This is a big week. Oh. I think that my chairs. Oh, yep, that's me. Oh God, guys, I literally could have sworn I screwed this in. Not me, like, bragging about putting this bar stool together and um, it breaking, okay? That was on me, not the brand. I feel like nine times out of 10, it's either just Trish or New Heights on in the background. Anyways, this is a very big week. I'm so excited, guys. Oh my God, I can finally talk about this. I am so excited this weekend. So as y'all are watching this, I will be in New Orleans already. I'm surprising my niece Sophie with tickets to Eras. Like I could cry. Okay, so like when I was in London for Eras, I just thought to myself, like I have to take her to Eras. She has to experience this. She became a Swifty literally one week after the Dallas show and now is like the number one fan. Her screensaver on her iPad are photos from like my Eras tour concerts. She has photos of Taylor all up in her room. She knows every single song. We watched the Eras tour movie because I was just like curious how much she really knew. She knew every single song. I mean, I know every single Taylor Swift song ever, but I started listening to Taylor Swift when I was her age. So the fact that she's really caught up is crazy. Anyways, I asked her mom for permission and I am going to surprise her and take her to New Orleans. And I'm telling her like two hours before we leave for the airport. I'm so excited. I needle pointed a um, like Taylor Swift ticket needle point thing. So my grandma's finishing it into like a door hanger. We have this like pink gift box that you guys are actually sit sitting on right now. And I'm gonna put a bunch of friendship bracelets in there and then the actual ticket. And then I'm adding in like random little like PR stuff. But I'm so excited. And when I think about it, like when I play it in my head, I cry. Like every single time when I was flying to LA last week, I was just looking up videos of like surprising so-and-so with heiress tickets. And I was crying on the flight. Like I'm so excited. Um, and then on top of that, I have a couple places. Like we're leaving the house this week. We got some things to do in Dallas and then I have a book club event for our book club cards that are available now, our collaboration with Keaton Milburn. I'm really excited, I'm also hosting book club. And then what else? Oh, Thursday is a big, big podcast day. We're shooting four podcasts at home with my video team. Just gonna be a good, productive week at home. I'm really excited. So I have got to get back to work. Also side note, these Gatorade like hydration boosters, really good. Merry Christmas, y'all, hope you guys are enjoying. Day. I'm going to my second bar stool arrived. I'm gonna set that up. I'm uploading some brand content and just pre-uploading stuff for the week. Gilmore Girls is on. I have a photo shoot in an hour and a half, but I'm ready, so it's good. I'm about to change into my outfit for the shoot. What I want to wear is this Hill House set, but I fear it's too nice, I think, for the shoot, and it kind of doesn't work color-wise. I really wanted a different Hill House set, but it wasn't available. This I will definitely be wearing for the holidays regardless. Like, please invite me to a nice holiday luncheon. Be well, because this is where I need to wear it to. I love Hill House right now. I wear so many things from Hill House. I just think this is so cute. So anyways, I probably won't be wearing this just because it's gonna clash photo-wise, color-wise. It's not gonna work. I don't think that, I don't think today is her day. What I do think is having a day today is this top that I got from Frame. Look at these cute little pearls all over the button up, like how adorable. I have these perfect red ballet flats from Jeffrey Campbell and then a couple pair of jeans just to see what works. Okay, so 
I'm still working with this shirt, but it is like really cute. Ignore this. We're going to figure this out. Easy, cozy, like chic little holiday dinner party look. fire of the season we just finished the shoe I actually think it turned out like really cute so I'm excited for that I need to throw some of the bread in the fridge guys am I a baker or am I a whatever my job title is who's to say who is to say so I feel like that was successful it's actually a friend of mine's like first b2b collaboration meaning with another business and not just like another like influencer or something. That is shot. It was very Christmassy. By the way, y'all, if anyone was wondering, my sourdough pumpkin cinnamon sugar swirl sourdough recipe, this is it. And then I, this is my actual normal one. You don't need to look at this one. It's on my Instagram. I have a detailed reel with timestamps. This is the actual recipe and I use the same method, like the same process as my other one. But the key for this is to toast it and then butter it and add brown sugar and it's unbelievable. That was crazy. That was not meant to be vlogged. That was crazy. Why? It was so good. Sneak peek to... Oh. That's a little sneak peek to our Halloween episode that is this Thursday. So go subscribe to the House Guest YouTube channel. We're dressing up. You guys can guess what Maisie is. She's taking the like, outfits of the days and stuff. When she came over here, she said she was in a CBM, but now she's kind of like being a model. So would you say that this costume cured your CBM? Yes. Like, I feel like the energy that you gave when you were coming here versus the energy that you're giving no, off like now. It's still low, but this is like masked it. Like, it's like. I would say it's so much bigger. So much happier. morning my alarm is going off for the end of my reading time so I need to get up Fizz is getting groomed today I just posted a TikTok too interesting people are interested okay go watch that there's nothing I love more than waking up in the morning and reading by the fireplace with a coffee I've been having such a hard time waking up probably just because I'm depressed but I've been having the hardest time like I have no energy and I just cannot get out of bed put mouth tape on last night guys I woke up well rested and ready to go like I Cannot describe to you the difference. I use this Skinny Confidential mouth tape. I'll link it below. It's actually crazy. And when I was using it consistently, my face was like way more snatched. And I thought it was because I was rolling it out. And then I realized I was actually using mouth tape. Like it really, really works. But if you are someone who wakes up in the morning and you're exhausted and so tired and you want like eight more hours of sleep, try the mouth tape. Because when I woke up this morning, I was fully rested and like ready to go. It was everything. So anyways, I just finished this morning the What is it called? It was our book club book pick. She's passed out. She needs a mouth tape Um, it was our book club pick. I'm hosting book club tonight. So I finished it just in the nick of time I liked it. It was definitely outside of my normal realm of what I would normally read It's like a more of a dystopian book at times I feel like I just like wasn't really checked into the book So I feel like I missed some things you know when you're just like having a hard time, I don't know. I will say once it got to like 60% on, I was definitely a lot more invested in it. It was okay. I posted this on my Instagram story asking if it was good before I read it. And it was a hard 50-50 split. Half of the people hated it.
hated the book and the other half were like five stars this girl that I know DM me and was like we read that for my book club and we all rated it five stars it's not a five star read for me but reading books is so personal you know like there's books that are five star books to me and that's not necessarily because I think the book itself is like the greatest thing that's ever walked this earth. It's that I loved the book and the story and where it took me and how I felt when I read it. You know what I mean? It's very personal. I'm gonna start reading. Oh, I guess I already did. I'm, how am I 13% into the boyfriend, Frida McFadden? I literally, this, I thought this just came out and I have no recollection of reading that. So anyways, I need to get dressed. I'm gonna go on a little run. I've definitely noticed that my mental health has been down since I stopped running. I didn't stop, I just like have trailed off since the 10K. And I know I've said this in a vlog before, but I really like want to get back into it, but I have no actual desire to run right now, which is crazy because when I was running, I loved it and I was looking forward to it. And now like, the thought of actually getting out and running, like Macy and I were talking about this last night. She was like the thought of the like, dun, 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 like literally it makes me like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to lose my running, which I've already not been running as much consistently for the past like five, six weeks. So I've definitely lost a lot of it. It's going to be tough. And I think I just got to get up and do it and force myself to do it. I have to listen to myself when I say discipline over motivation. The issue is that I just don't love forcing myself to do workouts that I don't like at that moment. So then I can, I can, there's so many workouts that you can do, you know? But anyways, we're going to get dressed. I have some meetings this morning and then I'm going to a new restaurant in Dallas for a little lunch. Um, I'm hosting a book club tonight so I need to go make some discard cookies. I've been doing a lot of friend of mine like behind the scenes. I never know what to talk about work-wise and I basically just try to film my life when I'm not at the computer, you know? But yeah, I'm curious what y'all like really want to see from a friend of mine in the next year. Also, if y'all are watching this, comment where you're watching it from. I'm always so interested where people live, not in like a creepy way, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it's very interesting to me. I know a lot of you guys are Dallas girls though, which we love. Y'all, I need to get, what is a fire pit, what is it called? Like a fire pit cover, like a gold thing? I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe that can make this fire pit a little bit less um, modern. I hate the marble that they went with. One, it's just like not my style in general, but I hate it because up here it's like permanently darker. It doesn't matter how much you clean this. Like it's just so dirty from like all the soot and there's nothing you can do. Like I tried, I was like, oh my gosh, look at my plants on here, guys. They've really made some progress. Gotta water these once I get back, but wow. All right, so this is what I'm wearing. Um, my run today, I don't know where my phone is. I'm technically starting a half marathon plan. But I, I don't have plans as of right now to like run a half marathon. I just want to get back to like running longer lengths of time. Today is day one. It's a 15 minute run. So I'm going to run 15 minutes and it's a recovery. So like so easy. And then I'm just going to go on a little bit of a walk. I've got to be back pretty soon. It's like already nine. That's like really actually late. Like I, I hate starting my day this late. I also have, I, whenever I see a podcast that I like, I immediately download it just so I have them here to like pick from. It just saves me time in the morning before my runs. Innovative strategies to design your life and business with Dan Martell and my love. That's what we're listening to today. y'all i'm currently shooting some stuff for stuart weitzman i have so many boxes and stuff in the background right now but i have these new boots look how cute they are they're these brown suede boots doing a giveaway i believe on instagram that will be up in the future it'll be up past this video going up so make sure you're following me on instagram because not only can you win a pair of these stuart weitzman boots the person that you tag in the comments is also going to win a pair which is so exciting so anyways gotta get back to the rest of these and I'm rushing right now because I have a call in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm actually weirdly wearing black. I'm, I'm a more of like a brown girl, but these jeans, by the way, like do not fit me well. I know that, but I just am not taking them off. And here is my outfit for lunch. 
really easy, beautiful, beautiful belt. I have these flats on. Everything is linked on my LTK and my Shop My. Perfect. Okay, we gotta go pretty quickly because I have to put some things in the oven before I leave. It's much later. I'm making this later this week. It's the most random meal from my favorite cookbook. Braised garlic eggplant with chickpeas and tomatoes. I made these probably a year ago and they're so good and I'm randomly craving them this week. Jack and Harry's was amazing. Today's been a very like creative day. I've had a lot of ideas. Side note, I really think I'm gonna start a sub stack. I got stuff, I'm hosting a book club tonight so we're making discard cookies, which I'm really excited for. It's actually my first discard recipe. I have a like sourdough and discard specific recipe journal that I use. These are a friend of mine, my home brand, if you guys are interested. But this is the actual recipe that I'm using. It looks like very, very simple. So hopefully they're good because this is like part of what I'm contributing tonight. So. Soon. Oh, by the way, this is an apron that Macy got me. Isn't it so cute? It's a denim apron. And she said, I got you a gift. Not one that can benefit me for once, because you know, she always gives me the community gifts. But this still benefits her because I am cooking for her, you know? Anyways, my guests are already arriving. I have been running around like crazy the past hour just prepping. Thank God I have my book club cards. Love these. They're our new product from a friend of mine. They're available now. We just launched them in collaboration with Keaton Milburn. There's three categories. Questions for your book club, which is the worst part of hosting book clubs is finding the question. We have thriller, we have romance, and we have fantasy. Obviously, they are done by category. They can work for so many different genres of books. And if y'all are hosting book club, or you want to host book club, or you have a book lover friend, these are the perfect gift. I will have them linked below. I'm so proud of them. The box is stunning, and I am so excited about these. All right, let's talk about the cookies really quickly because guys, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, look at that. Okay, these look a lot better than these, all right? And these were the incorrect recipe supposedly, and these supposedly were correct. So guys, I don't know. I've also set up this little section in the corner to toast the sourdough and then to top it with butter and brown sugar. It's so good. wondering the behind the scenes of Macy's TikToks. No, this, this is like literally an Instagram story. <laughs> like find someone that yeah, this isn't even a TikTok. <laughs> I would just like to formally let everyone know that I am at book club right now. Here is proof. Um, there, don't want to talk about it, but we are going to be a little bit delayed in the Dance of the Stars commentary. We'll have it on at about 8.30, but I Thanks. am at book club. <laughs> Reporting coming soon. You weren't super broadcasting. What? Right now. You've been more broadcasting before. Okay. I think do one more and be more broadcast. Okay. Say that one now. Okay, okay. Not me being an active. No, no. I <laughs> it's just like your broadcasting is different than that. No, no, I know. You need to be more serious. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Bruh. Mm -hmm. Macy Thompson reporting live from Book Club, where Dancing with Stars will be a little bit delayed tonight. You know, we did have a book club meeting for 7 o'clock that was planned far before we did the Dancing with Stars schedule. Here with Kenzie Elizabeth, who planned the book club and is holding up my ring light as an apology. Dancing with Stars will be on in about an hour and a half, so we will be a little bit delayed in reporting. Until then, please let me know if you have any further questions, but do not spoil it. That was good. Gracie, that was so good. Are you going to make you redo it? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, and you look so stunning! I'm obsessed. Actually god awful. Like, I've gotten through here no, today, like, literally, if solely only to say, fuck Kirsten. I wish she had <laughs> let that guy kill her. No, <laughs> right? Like, I would've been so I know. Excited. Well, when it ended, I, like, wasn't paying attention, then I was like, God, I have to go back and read that part to see if she died or not, because I hated her so much, like. You were so ready for her to be gone. <laughs> yeah, she just sucks so bad. You look like you're convulsing because Jenny of the Stars is off right now. Like, you're like... <laughs> oh, no, that was just me staring off in the distance. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what about Riker? That was kind of a baddie. So creepy. I, was like, I, I, felt, like, so creepy. I felt like the relationship with Riker, like that, all like, happened. Did you love him so much in like two days? No, I, I by the way, I think it was like two minutes. Like, it yes. was actually crazy. It was so fast. She was ready to leave her entire family behind and go live with him after knowing him for two seconds. Okay, she's so real for that. <laughs> Oh wait guys, everyone close your eyes. Okay. So as you can see here, oh, sorry, you guys are This is a very compelling argument for our next book club. Okay, next slide. Woo! Oh, you're Actually? Oh, yes. Oh, don't worry though, I put an argument on Twitter there. Okay, from one three, hello. Otherwise, don't ask, drum roll please. Oh. oh, and which is actually, by the way, how serendipitous. 
Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Stay perfect. perfect. Reserve have a lot to walk, which I will say we got pretty much nothing from this interview. Mm -hmm. Nothing yeah, that I didn't know that I could do on Google search. Which, you know, that's not Alex's fault. That's just how she has to, like, be approved to have these guests. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes Alex needs a crush for her. Yeah, she does, but she wouldn't give those guests those yeah. issues. But, um, <clears throat> also, I can understand Bethany is an entrepreneur and she wants to go buy her book. Hello. Yeah. Oh, so but it's funny. We just want to give all the answers, guys. Really yeah. quick, when was the last time like, you got a juicy piece of tea from a color daddy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Totally. Never. It's like when she went Hollywood, you can't tell me that. She's she's too famous. That's like BFFs. I'm yeah. not trying to be like there's no way. Oh, number six. A, a little bit of everything here. All right. Sure, so back to your business. Back to your business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. All right. So <laughs> we have three separate things here: thriller, fantasy, romance. Now I'm expecting there to be a little bit of all of that. Yeah. Thriller, Nicole. Romance. <laughs> she fights us. And um, <laughs> fantasy. The cold. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It all comes back to the cold. So, anyways, I do believe that is the end of my thing. If there's any objections, please. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm excited for this. Yeah, I think that will be really fun to read. I just have a question about colds. Um. <laughs> Fitz's new haircut is so bad, and he is so upset. He looks like a true poodle. He's just not a poodle. I mean, he is technically, but poor guy. We're watching Dancing with the Stars. I'm clocked in, give me my commentary. Book club was great. Good morning, y'all. I'm about to leave for my workout. It's a Wednesday morning. I'm going to work out. I have to go see my grandma after that. And then today we've got a lot of things going on. I baked a loaf for my coach, so she's going to be very happy. I just told her. I'm recording an entire solo episode on Martha Stewart. And... I know so much about her because I hyperfixate on things and like need to know everything and I'm obsessed with her. I have so far three pages of like size 10 font of just like so many things that I said. I also don't know if I can say this, but my, I'll ask before I put this in, my manager came from working for Martha Stewart. I also, boots on the ground, interviewed someone that works for her and like loves her so much. Um, and that's just like the initial things. Tomorrow is our recording day, so I really don't have that much time to get to this today. Thank God my whole life is a research for Martha Stewart, but I'm probably gonna have to stay up late tonight and get some of it done um, later this afternoon, but I mean, I honestly, I have enough to record three hours, so on, we are totally fine, but I would just like some more time, and I really want to watch her masterclass. The only thing that sucks is that her documentary is coming out, like, a week after I record this, and I can't imagine there's things in the doc that I don't know, or I don't at least have, like, some sort of knowledge about, but what if there's, like, big, I don't know, like, I just hate that I'm recording it before, but that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm gonna say that. I don't know. With scheduling this video team, basically I have to record like one day in Dallas and do four at a time in order to like make it work. So, anyways. We out the door I got ready so quick this Aritzia belt I've been looking for a brown belt everywhere came home got a lot of stuff done and now we're heading to Bishop Arts I just have some like work stuff we need to do all afternoon We've arrived at Lush. This is the new romance bookstore in Bishop Arts. It's so cute. Let me show you the outside. It is so cute. Then you go inside. It fits perfect. Thank you. It's adorable. The balloons for decor are everything. The store is so cute. Friend of mine, book club cards are everywhere. We've got them here. We've got them here. Come over here. We've got... Even more over here, and of course, right next to Magnolia Parks. I love these too. Alright y'all, 
I'm back home. It's 9 p.m. I need to tan and do a couple more hours of work. Tomorrow is a full podcasting day and I need to finalize my Martha Stewart episode. I've done a lot of work. We went to La Soul and we worked from there. It was amazing. It's like a members only club. Jack's a member, so I got to go with her. I have to join. It's so perfect. And then I had our event for the book club cards, as you guys know, at Blush Bookstore, which is a new romance bookstore in Bishop Arts. It was the best event I think I've ever done. As far as like events go, by far my favorite. It was so much fun. We had such a good turnout of girls. There was like 200 of y'all that came and it was just the best event. It was so much fun. If y'all are in Dallas and you're wanting to shop our book club cards, they are at the store. By the way, for my Dallas girls or Texas girls, our fulfillment center is like an hour outside of Dallas. So if you order, your stuff gets delivered so quick. I had a lot of girls tell me that tonight. They're like, I'm so confusing how your shipping is so quick. And I'm like, oh, it's because it's literally an hour away. Anyways, very successful day. I need to go shower, tan, do all the things, and then work. killed my makeup she's the best like oh my god so good I'm getting dressed right now for my episode it's gonna be a solo I'm, i already said it in this vlog the youtube youtube viewers get like everything i really don't hide much from you guys besides i go to any platform i definitely say the most here anyways doing a martha stewart episode i have seven pages size 10 font of note after note after note most of which came naturally from my brain but we also have some inside sources i think okay i think i need to change the shoes but i think this is like a cute martha look i might wear boots we'll see maybe i'll wear these or these by the way such a random thing these socks they're the running socks i got them on amazon they're linked on my shop my under running they're running socks but they are incredible. You need to get these socks. I wear these socks now for everything. They are the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. And then also if you're running and your feet start to hurt before, try these socks because that's really what cured everything for me. But they're amazing. Great. Right, I'm going with the classic Annie. This outfit feels very me. Loving this. <laughs> He's so mad about this haircut, he's just sitting there staring. Fitz, I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> he's looking at me like I've betrayed him. No, like something horribly, <laughs> horribly wrong. This is crazy. We're on episode three. Hi, y'all. Happy Halloween. We just recorded our Halloween episode. Macy, could you come give them a little look? You guys are getting a real sneak peek. We're teasing this, but we're not posting on social until Thursday. Happy Halloween! I would be the worst guard. I'm trying to keep a serious face. <laughs> I can't. No, I think you were like so good, Macy. I'm really liking this outfit. Like, once you find something that you're confident in, yeah, and like compliments your body type, mm -hmm. game over. I was gonna be sourdough, but it was really hard to do. So then I just became a baker, and then I realized I could wear my apron and tell everyone to go buy the Remedy House of Apron off our merch And you're a business woman. woman and I'm an all. entrepreneur first. And so just wait for this to be on my website because I'm gonna make it a little bit more chic. She's gonna add it to her storefront. Yeah. yeah. Actually, did I get them on Target, not Amazon. Okay. So I'll do an affiliate link. We also have some other things, but we're gonna keep it a secret until after. So anyways, I have one more episode for the day. I have sushi on its way. Jack's coming. Oh, I need to say this what off. What sushi did you get? Hungry belly. Do you, how much did my makeup go off my forehead? Oh, not much. It just has a little crease. Kristen hey, killed it. Yeah? We're shooting episode four, all about styling, personal style. Fits? Seriously, bub? It's 7 p.m. Like, drinking iced coffee is crazy right now. It's a Especially because I want to sleep after this, but it needs to happen. So, anyways, it looks fabulous. All right, y'all. It is 10 p.m. And... 10:20, and we are finally done everyone just left a couple probably like 20 minutes ago very long recording day we had four episodes so i have a solo recorded with jack my friend who i'm always with my stylist she's my friend and my stylist sierra um average cc on tiktok she's also on the show great friend of mine love her and i think these episodes are gonna be really good so very excited um 
it's 10 20 and i'm exhausted i need to go sleep podcast days are just draining because you're like sitting and smiling and talking for like hours and then it's just I, I don't know it's a lot more exhausting than it sounds so gonna go shower read my book go to bed and i'll s oh i'll see you guys in the morning hi y'all happy friday it's 1 p.m and i'm just now vlogging these flights aren't even off right now um i woke up this morning and i had oh wow god sorry i'm distracted look at how much these have grown. My water, my windows are getting cleaned very soon. Anyways, like I was saying, yesterday was amazing. I'm just feeling really good about work stuff and inspired and excited. And it's so nice to have a good week. And I've been thinking like all week, I just keep remembering that I'm surprising Sophie with Harris tickets tomorrow. And I cry every time, like I tear up. I'm going to cry when it happens, I'm so excited. I had a workout and then I've done calls all morning. I need to go shoot some brand deals, hopefully get a new phone and then come back and I've got a lot of things to get done. We're also gonna start teasing family cards tomorrow and it's gonna be great. So, really excited about that. Guys, Macy seems to be potentially making a last minute trip to Eras. I have okay. my outfit out unless Soph and I go with something else. Mentioned it on the podcast, but I was like, here's the thing, Taylor Swift will never be like this close to me in, in years. Like, New Orleans is eight hours away. Like, think about the lengths that people go to to see Taylor Swift. And I have seen her once, but it was peak breakup. Or I've seen her in Arlington. It's peak breakup. I didn't realize you've only got one until just Sorry, now. I lied. Yeah. I've been twice. Mm -hmm. I just, I, that was a really polite way of me saying that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, completely forgot, sorry. One twice. But, like, she was peak breakup. Mm -hmm. And we, I have not seen TTPD. Macy, you're allowed to go. This will actually be my sixth time going, so... Oh, no, I know I'm allowed to go, but I'm just giving all the reasons of why I'm so excited and oh, why I'm, totally. like, so dedicated to this. I've been refreshing StubHub all day. I got this app. It's called T... Let's see if they notified me. Um, I've been refreshing all day long. I feel like they've notified you, like, twice in the past 20 minutes, too. Like, pretty oh, good, right? Look, it's all the new listings, but here's... Oh, my God! I'm being a little spoiled at this point because a lot of them are, like, very behind the stage, and so I just keep waiting because they keep getting better and cheaper. So, life hack, get this app, notify by SWT, any listings they notify you about. That's amazing. So, I don't have tickets yet, don't have a plan yet, but I have a friend in Austin that said she'll drive. Wait, can you film me as your stylist really quick? Can we switch? Oh, yes. Thanks. And I just want to make it known that, like... Hi, guys. I'm Macy Stylist. I hope you guys like my outfit. Nope. Oh, mine? Yeah. I think it's cute? Yes. Okay, so I actually pulled some pieces from Macy. Yeah, I, we shot an entire episode with Jack in the closet last night. It looks so good. It looks so good. <clears throat> okay. Number one, I pulled this dress because I know that Macy's mentioned that she likes it. It's very Megan Maroney. Do you see what I mean? Huh? Yes. It's just like, I don't I don't know if it's going to... It's Megan. Yeah. yeah. But it's also giving OG Taylor Swift. Yes. Because Megan's idol is OG T Taylor. Yes. So like, As is mine. Fearless. Yes. Next, I have this dress. It's a very hot dress. It's very, very Wait, incredible. Is it see-through? Um, no, not when you put it on. And then the only issue is that it's backless, so a little hard with the bra, but it's a very flattering dress. Okay. Uh, it might not be for, it would be really cute for arrows, but you might not like the, it practically. Okay. Um, I also have this one, which is very, you know, one thing you can count on me with some dresses is that I'm, like, fearless. Too, yes. You know? And you just, as a person, are fearless. Thank you. Fearless. Thank you. Um, Big this is so cute, too. This is I like Olivia. that a lot. Very cute. And then I Ooh. have this one. I don't know if it's totally, it's just heavy. But I think this ah! is so cute, and this is... You would have five perfect candidates. Yeah, just... A... Wow, what are you wearing? So, because I'm taking a nine-year-old, I have to go for comfort. Um, yes. And that's what I have right so now. So cute. Just really simple, but we actually might... I asked Soph, just, like, curio like curious, out of curiosity, when she was like, oh, my God, I want to go to Eras, and I was like, sucks, you didn't like her when she came, and then you yeah. watched her the next week, you know? Yeah. And then I... when she Nine-year-olds. Yeah, nine-year-olds. And then when, now it's like her, her everything. Yeah. But that was like a year and a half ago. I asked her what she'd want to wear. And she said, like, from You Belong With Me music video. Yeah. The t-shirt and the pajama pants and the sign. Same girl. Her. So I got that in case she did end up wanting to do that. I don't think she's going to end up wanting to wear this shirt. Yeah. She's going to want to wear like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not going era, like, for an era. Yeah. I'm going for comfort and taking a nine-year-old. Yeah. I'm 27, so please yeah. give me some grace. Okay, perfect. Anyways, what are you thinking? Okay. Um, I'll try them on, but I really like oh. these blue ones cute friday at 9 p.m and i'm still finishing up some work packing this is kind of the 
po like the box that I'm gonna present to Sophie. So I ordered a lot more. I have all these friendship bracelets. I ordered a ton more, but I can't get into my mailbox right now, and that's where they are. So that's a real bummer. But I have these, and then if we want to make more, we can. So I have like a friendship bracelet kit. Then I have some jewelry for her. These, all that is for. Oh, I don't even need to bring that. I guess. Okay, so all of this is for the bracelets. I got her this for the costume or for the um, concert. And then tomorrow I have to pick up the needlepoint canvas. If you guys want to see the whole thing, it'll be on TikTok for sure. But I'm so excited, y'all. I could cry. I'm like, oh my god. I have so much to do tonight before leaving. So I am going to stop this vlog, but if y'all want to stay up to date, I'll be posting all the concert stuff, I'm sure, today. I'm sure it's already on my Instagram and TikTok. But I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm so tired, but I also just want to say, like, thank you guys so much for, like, supporting my content and watching every week and just being, like, so kind online because not only are you guys just, like, the best, nicest people, but also I get to do things like this for Sophie and, like, just after the year that my family and I have had to like be able to surprise her and take her to Eras is just like, I'm so excited and we just need this. Like we need something good and I'm really, really excited. I'm so tired, my face is like so puffy. Um, but I just wanted to say like, I love y'all and I am so grateful and I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without you guys. I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without y'all and like, I love what I do and I love my job and I love, you know, being able to start my dream brand and like the podcast and everything and I just love how supportive y'all are and I'm really grateful and I love all the like really nice comments have like really just meant a lot to me lately. So, drinking my smoothie king, um, I'm going to finish editing this vlog, get it up and then start packing and send in a bunch of other stuff for a friend of mine. So, love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Se arrastou